today's budget day, and I, I've just finished doing a, a round of interviews asking me about uh, the George Osborne Tory budget in London. And although it's a, a London budget, not a Scottish budget, in some ways Scotland dominates the budget because the only source of revenue that he's been able to call on to do what he wants to do is from Scottish oil revenues, which are now forecast to be £13.4 billion, pounds, about £3,000 a head for every man, woman and child in Scotland. And that's the only source of big revenue because that's the highest total ever from the North Sea, from Scotland's resources, which he's using to make a minor reduction in fuel tax. And without that, he wouldn't have a budget. The Chancellor of the Exchequer would be left totally at sea without Scotland's oil revenue. Now, what could have been done with Scotland's oil revenues is as follows. Certainly, we would have taken the increase because of high oil prices, £4 billion, applied half of that, and we could have reduced fuel not by one pence, but by 50 pence a litre, which is only fair and proper since it's gone up by uh, 20 pence a litre over the last year and about 30 pence over the last two years. One pence reduction doesn't cut it. It doesn't cut it for families or hauliers or hard-pressed businesses. We could have done some real reduction in the cost of fuel. Uh, and secondly, we could have put the additional revenue into additional investment in the Scottish economy because the biggest failing in the budget overall was the lack of capital investment in the building of schools, of hospitals, of roads to get people back to work, to build houses. If we controlled our own resources, then that's the course that Scotland would follow at the present moment. Instead of having a hand-made-down London budget, we'd have a budget made in Scotland, which used the resources of Scotland, matched them to the talent of our people, and took our economy forward. That's the difference between having control, as we would with the SNP, and having to rely on London, which is the present situation. All my experience in life tells me, if you can avoid it, don't rely on London. Trust Scotland. That's the way forward. Together we'll stand, divided we'll fall. Come on now, people, let's get on the ball. Land well together. Come on.